Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another awesome video. So let's get cracking. Welcome to Tinkercad. If this is your first time using Tinkercad, I'll make sure there's a link in the properties of this video. Of course, I always choose sign in with Google. When you get there, you'll be on the home page. Our first project is going to start by simply hitting create new 3D design. Now we're going to make a fantastic two color fish. Let me show you how we do it. We are going to use a fantastic Thingiverse project. Of course, this link will be in the description as well. It is called the Fish Fossil. I love this print. It is created by the uber talented Muzz64. It is licensed under the Creative Commons Attribution Non Commercial No Derivatives license. So you can't make money off this, but they are super fun to print and give to friends and family. I'm going to show you how to make it a two color one. So the first thing we do is simply download the file. I have already done this. You can see it right there. So I'm going to hit cancel. There is also one with a key fob, but I prefer the normal one. Now the first thing we do is name our project. I'm going to call mine two color bamboo print. All right, so let me show you just how easy it is to make this a two color print. We're going to use import. We're going to choose a file. And we need to find that fish fossil. I put mine in my 3D modeling folder so I can simply double click keep the settings and import it. Notice it takes a moment. You can see down here that it is loading. And there is the super fun fish fossil. If you click on it, you can see that right now it's 82 by 30. It has got a height of nine. That height is the number that matters the most for this project. So Tinkercad works using solid shapes. This one is called a hole. It is a cube and remember this was nine we're going to make this half of nine which is 4.5 if we bring this in the middle of our shape you can see that cuts it in half we're going to turn on something called flat view we're going to look at it from the top with our view cube and then use the black handles those only stretch in one direction to make sure it is larger than your fish that way it's going to cut it exactly in half now we're going to select the two of those and we're going to do control D and then we're going to do shift nudge to move the other one. Notice if you do a single nudge, it moves one millimeter at a time. That is set right down here. If you do shift nudge, it goes 10 times as far. Let's switch back to perspective view and we want to take this and raise it up 4.5 more. Well, here's my way to do it. I'm going to press W for work plane and I'm going to set it exactly on the top of that hole. Now when you click the hole and hit D, it drops it to that top height. So we've got the top half will be saved and we've got the bottom half of the fish will be saved. I'm going to put the work plane back down on the ground by pressing the letter W, clicking out here by the blue edge. Select these two and choose group, which is also control G. These red lines mean it is grouping. Notice that is floating. That is awesome. We want to keep that. Now we're going to select these two and do control G again. And we have just got the two halves of our cool print. Now I'm going to switch the bottom one to green. Right now I'm in custom colors. I'm going to go back to the presets. I'm going to make the top one orange because those are the colors I have in my printer. And the final step is to select them both. Choose L for align. I'm going to click and make the top fish the boss. And I just want to hit center to line them up. That, my friends, is your two color bamboo print. Now let me show you how to export them. I'm going to click just the bottom piece. I am going to choose export. I'm going to export the selected shape as an STL. I'm going to change the name to fish bottom and hit save now we can simply click on the top once again choose export still the selected shape choose stl this time i am going to type fish top and export those are your steps in tinkercad at this point i am going to launch bamboo studio we are going to switch to prepare notice i got my p1s connected normal texture plate there are my two colors. It's currently in global mode and I've got the 0.2 profile. Let's add our object. Notice when we click add, we've got the fish top and bottom available. I'm going to select both and choose open. 
as it loads, I do want to load them as a single object, multiple parts. I'm going to switch to object mode, and I'm going to pick that the top is going to be the orange. So I click it once, twice, and then I can select my orange filament. I've only got two colors loaded, and just like that, our design is ready. Now, because of the way this design works, I have no need for the prime tower. These will blend into each other absolutely fine without it. So check this out. If we go back to global and we go to others, we can instantly shut off the prime tower. You save a ton of time and you waste no plastic. We look back at the quality. Everything else is going to be left just the same. We can simply move over to this corner. With those little parts out of the way, we can slice the plate and we can print the plate. Brings up our final window. I'm going to hit send and let's see just how long this takes. It automatically switches to the device menu. Current status shows it's ready. Things are starting to heat up. You can see that I've got my two colors loaded and my support. And then I'm going to hit play. And after just a moment, it refreshes and you can get a look inside your machine. As you look around, you can see right now the heat bed is preheating. It estimates that the print's going to take 37 minutes and use about 10 grams of filament. Just like that, it went to 11%. And there you can see a quick peek of it as it's working. Notice it also shows you how the filament is using the green right now. Eventually, it will switch to the orange. And right here we have the filament swapping. Pretty cool to actually catch that when it happens. And right here you can see the print is finished. Let's go snag it off the printer. And of course, here it is. Amazing two color flexible print in about 35 minutes. How cool is that? Of course, the secret of the technique was knowing how these joints work and then simply being able to divide nine millimeters in half. As I wrap up, friends, I do want to remind you about my website, hlmodtech.com. I have got a page dedicated to Tinkercad with all sorts of amazing categories and then the day one favorites the useful starters, and the Tinkercad Essentials. Below that, you'll find my course, Tinkercad in 20 Days, which is hosted on cadclass.org. Of course, if you click the video, it'll give you all of the information. And I also want to highlight the coupon code 25HLTinkercad. It gets you 25% off any course you choose to take. And of course, this link will take you there. I do also want to highlight the sweet built-in messaging tool. You can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion, and reach me almost instantly. The website also has the link to the Tinkercad Community Discord. As you can see, there are a boatload of members, and it's a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. Lastly, friends, I do also have a 3D printer page, and this is where you'll find all the information that I release about the Bamboo Labs P1S. A final note, friends, as you can see, this is a template project. If you watch the entire video before starting, you can actually get to this project by simply typing bit.ly slash hlfish. And as you've seen, it only takes a few minutes to create an awesome design that you can print on your multicolor capable 3D printer. And of course, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Don't forget you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.